Hi, my name's Carly and welcome to Be Positive, the TV show made here at the Royal Children's Hospital. Your body is amazing, but sometimes it might need a little bit of help to work properly. Some children have problems with their heart and they might need an operation. Before your operation, you'll come to the hospital for the day to have some special checks and meet some special people. Let's find out what happens. We'll take you inside the hospital. Together, we'll discover interesting places, meet new people, and learn about helpful devices. On today's show, we'll learn about an ECG and echo with Dominic. Paris will tell us about having a chest X-ray. We'll find out what happens when Abby has a blood test. And Jazz gets to know Sage, a cardiac nurse. When you come to the hospital, you'll go to Specialist Clinics A, check in and wait in A3. You'll meet your nurse who will check how tall you are and also measure how much you weigh. Yesterday, Jazz caught up with Sage, a cardiac nurse. Hi everyone, my name's Jazz and I'm here with Sage, a cardiac nurse. Hi Sage. Hi Jazz. Now Sage, what do you do at the hospital? Well Jazz, I'm a cardiac nurse. And what do cardiac nurses do? Well, Jazz, we work in a number of places around the hospital. So you might find us on the koala ward or maybe down in specialist clinics. Cool, and now you said you're a cardiac nurse. What does cardiac mean? So cardiac means the heart. Oh, so you help kids who have heart problems. That's right, Jazz. Have you ever seen a heart before? No. Well, I did bring one along today. So this, Jazz, is what a heart looks like. Wow. That's pretty cool. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so your heart has got four chambers and they squeeze the blood so it pumps all around your body. Cool. So what sort of things might you do with kids at the hospital? Well, at the hospital, we might check your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And today I've brought along some different colored blood pressure cuffs because you might have, depending on how big you are, you might have a different size blood pressure cuff. Now, Jazz, would you like to try one on? I'd love to. I brought along a really little one just for you. Oh, it's teeny tiny. It's very small, so it goes on your arm and it's gonna get a little bit tight, so you have to stay nice and still. Do you know what, Sage? I know the funny word for this. What is the word for blood pressure cuff? It's sphygmomanometer. <gasps> It's a big word. It is indeed. <laughs> but we can call it blood pressure cuff, can't we? Absolutely, we definitely can. Excellent, and that tells me what your blood pressure is. Ah, cool. And what other things do you have here? Well, we also have what we call a SATS probe. Ooh, where does that go? It goes on one of your fingers. Okay. I'm gonna pop it on this one. What does it measure? So it measures how much oxygen is in your blood. Wow, that's cool. And another thing that we might also do is we might like to listen to your heart rate. Do you know what this is called, Jess? Hmm, a stethoscope. That's right. So this one I pop in my ears so I can hear. And then it goes onto your heart. Now, do you know what sound a heart makes? Boom, 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 boom. That's boom. right. And that's what I can hear. Thanks, Sage. Now, Sage, what's the best thing about being a cardiac nurse? I think the best thing about being a cardiac nurse is helping kids learn about their heart and helping children who have cardiac conditions kind of learn about how they can live with their cardiac condition. Cool. Well, Sage, thank you so much for your time today. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. The nurse will have a chat to you about your heart operation. Then they'll take your OBS, just like Emma. Let's take a look. The nurse used a cuff around her arm to check her blood pressure, measured her heartbeat, and checked her temperature. After your OBS, you might need an echo, special pictures taken of your heart. Not all children need an echo, but Dominic did. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Dominic and today I'm having an echo. An echo is a type of picture 
that helps my doctors see how my heart is working. When I come to the clinic, I meet Maddie. Maddie is a cardiac technologist. Her job is to take the pictures. She gets me to take off my top and lie on the bed. The first thing Maddie does is stick three small stickers onto my chest. Then she attaches leads to them. The leads tell Maddie how fast my heart is beating. After that, she shows me the camera, which is called a probe. Maddie asks me if I would like warm or cool gel. I choose warm. She uses the gel to help the camera slide over my skin as it takes the pictures. It looks nothing like my camera at home. This is a special camera that uses sound waves to look at my heart. If you've ever had an ultrasound, it's just like that. The room is a bit dark. This helps Maddie see the pictures on her screen better. The gel feels warm and slippery. I can feel the camera on my skin, but that's all. It can take a little while for Maddie to take her pictures. I watch TV while she does it. My mum gets to stay beside me the whole time. It's really important that I lie still for it. This helps the pictures come out clearly. Sometimes Maddie asks me to change positions so she can get a better look at different views of my heart. And sometimes I get to hear my heart beating. It sounds pretty cool. Soon, Maddie has taken all of the pictures. She checks them on her screen and then she wipes the gel off. Then she takes the stickers off and then I can put my shirt back on. That's it, we're finished. See you later. Wow, an echo is an awesome way to take pictures of your heart. An ECG is also another way to check your heart. Dominic had an ECG. Let's find out what happened. Hi, my name is Dominic, and today I'm having an ECG. An ECG shows the doctors the way my heart is working. When I come to the clinic, I meet Erin. Erin is a cardiac technologist. She will do my ECG for me today. First, Erin gets me to take off my top and lie down on the bed. The ECG is very quick. My mum stays with me the whole time. While Erin does her job, I get to watch TV. She puts some small stickers all over my chest and attaches a small peg to each one. The pegs aren't like the ones we use for the washing. These pegs lead to a special computer which shows a trace of my heartbeat. It's really important that I stay very still for it. Erin can print this out for my doctors to look at. Okay, good job, we're all finished. That's it. Erin takes the stickers off and I can put my shirt back on. And we're done. See you later. Bye. ECG, you'll have a chest x-ray to check the size and the shape of your heart. These pictures are taken here in medical imaging. Let's follow Emma to find out how to get here. Emma will wait here for her chest x-ray. 
Yesterday, Harris had a chest x-ray. Let's find out what happened. Hello, my name is Harris and I am coming to the Royal Children's Hospital to have a chest x-ray. An x-ray is a photo of the inside of your body. Dad and I take the lift to the lower ground floor and then find the medical imaging department. We talk to the lady at the reception and she shows us where to sit while I wait for my x-ray. Soon, a radiographer called Rachel calls out my name. A radiographer is the person who takes x-ray photos. Rachel talks to Dad and we follow her into one of the x-ray rooms. The room has a bed and a big camera that hangs down from the ceiling. Rachel shows me the camera and how it moves up and down. It has a button on the side that Rachel lets me push. Super. I can see a little window of light shining from the camera. I need to take my top off so that the X-ray camera can take a clear photo of my chest. Rachel shows me the spot where I need to sit to have my photo taken. I need to sit on a tall chair with a seat belt on near the wall in front of a special screen. Rachel asks me to sit nice and tall in front of the screen. Facing the camera and with my hands on my hips. Rachel and Dad go to the doorway so that the extra only takes my photo. Rachel says take a deep breath in and hold it in. Okay, take a big breath in. When I take my breath in, Rachel presses a button that makes the extra camera work. The photo is all done. Now Rachel has an x-ray photo on my chest that she can send to my doctor. The x-ray will show my doctor how my chest is looking. Dad and Rachel come back into the room and I put my top back on. That's it. Yay. Time to go. See ya. Our three checks done so far, an echo, an ECG and a chest x-ray. That means one more check to go, a blood test. Let's follow Emma down to Specialist Clinics A6. Yesterday, Abby had a blood test. Let's find out what happened. Hello, my name is Abby, and today I'm going to have a blood test at the Royal Children's Hospital. A blood test can tell doctors and nurses important information about our bodies. I've had lots of blood tests, so I know lots about them. First, Mum and I go to the pathology collection desk at A6 and give in our form. While I am waiting, I meet another girl called Ashika. She's going to have a blood test too. Ashika has numbing cream on her arms. The numbing cream takes almost an hour to work and it makes your skin feel numb where the blood test will be. I used to use the cream, but because I'm used to blood tests, I don't need to anymore. When it's my turn, a pathology collector called Catherine calls my name and mum and I go with her into one of the special little rooms. These rooms have a comfy chair to sit in and a TV to watch. Catherine asks me some questions to make sure she has the right person. That's me. I sit on Mum's lap so she can give me a cuddle. It's very important to stay still during a blood test so the collector can do the test quickly. Catherine puts a little belt around my arm. 
It is called a tourniquet. The tourniquet gives my arm a squeeze and helps Catherine to find a vein in my arm. When Catherine has found a good vein, she is ready to do the test. Some children like to see what the nurse is doing. Some children like to play on an iPad or watch TV. When I have a blood test, I close my eyes, think of happy things and turn away. The test just pinches for a second, but I don't let it bother me. Catherine uses a little butterfly needle. It's a very fine needle that can slip easily into your vein. Catherine uses butterflies even on tiny babies. It's called that because it looks like a butterfly. My blood drips through the little butterfly into special collecting tubes. After the test is finished, Catherine presses a little cloth on that spot. Mum holds it tight to stop the blood. And Catherine puts a band-aid over the spot. Catherine labels my blood test tubes with my name and today's date. She puts them in a special plastic bag, ready to send to be tested. That's it for me. I give Catherine a high five. Catherine takes the bag to a special delivery chute. The chute takes my blood tubes to the special hospital laboratory. There, the scientists will look at my blood and find out information to tell my doctor. My body is very clever because as soon as my blood test is over, my body starts to make new blood cells right away. And as a special treat, I'm going to have an ice cream. Lucky me. After you have the echo, ECG, chest x-ray and blood test, it's time for a break. I wonder what snack Emma and her dad will have. Before you go home, you'll meet some of your doctors. Emma met her cardiac doctor, John, and her cardiac surgeon, Ben, the person who'll be doing her heart operation. At the end of the day, your nurse will have a chat to you about your heart operation, and you can ask some questions. It's a really long day at the hospital, so it's a great idea to bring something to do, like colouring in, books to read and toys. I hope you've learnt lots and feel more prepared for your heart operation. If you're in the hospital and like to be a part of our show, just ask the Child Life Therapist on your ward or send us an email. I'm Carly, thanks for watching, be positive.